what if I told you that you could have a healthy democracy in 20 years? And what if I told you that the answers, the path to a healthy democracy is in your state, in bits and pieces, in different communities throughout your state? Well, we and at the Washington Democracy Hub have the path to get there. This path that we've created is a 20-year path uh, to a healthy democracy that has been created over the course of 3,300 interv interviews in door-to-door -door in 174 zip codes, 19 hours of community feedback sessions with 75 movement members, and 19 and several, several thousand uh, rows of data. So when I say that we created this, when I say we created a path, I don't just mean me and my team at the Democracy Hub, because there is none. I actually founded the Democracy Hub. I've worked with all of these people to be able to create the overall agenda. So let's start with destination one. Everyone can vote. So when good ideas and good policies come around the pike, people can vote on them, and people have access to vote. Well, in our state, we already had mail-in ballots. We already had online voter registration. And when we got started on this agenda, people already just won same-day voter registration, automatic voter registration, youth registration, and a state-based Voting Rights Act. But we realized we weren't done. There are still people who weren't allowed to vote because of their interactions with the mass incarceration system. There were poor people who didn't have a stamp, rural people who couldn't go to the post office to deliver or to be able to turn off their ballot or turn in their ballots. And what's more is if you did get a felony and you ended up in jail, the prison town took your representation, added it to their own to make them more powerful and took it from your hometown. So we actually started on the path to, to end, gerry end prison gerrymandering, put stamps on ballots, and start the path to a three-year um, constitutional amendment strategy to be able to get everybody to be able to vote. And that's still not enough. There are still people in our state who can't vote. There are still people who pay taxes, who work every day and still can't vote. So we're going to continue working on that. But there are already people working in destination too. And in Destination 2, it's everybody wants to vote. Everybody should vote. Our structure should encourage participation. But when the biggest corporations live right next door to you and have just as much speech as you do, if not more, and by speech I mean money for the people in the back that can't see my hands here, <laughs> why would you want to participate? Why would you even want to vote? So in 2015, we won the first in the nation democracy voucher program, giving four, <laughs> yes, bring it in. Giving four $100, or giving four $25 vouchers, $100 total, uh, to each Seattle resident, whether they're a voter or not, whether they're documented or not, yes, catch that, to be able to participate and actually choose who represents them in Seattle. And we're not done yet. There are more organizations that are working on things like alternative voting systems that hold the promise of increasing reflective democracy and decreasing negative campaigning. And we're also looking at things like participatory budget making so people have an impact on policy beyond the vote. Because we know what we're doing. We should be able to control our money. We'll move into section three and four. People are already working there as well. We've got candidate recruitment tables, the elect you table, working day in and day out to create a vision of a reflective Washington state. And to maintain a thriving democracy, oh, well, we just got to keep working. <laughs> we've got all the implementation work that we've got to do uh, to keep these programs running well, to keep these laws running well. And all of this really does come together to achieve our vision, a healthy, thriving democracy of, by, and for the people of Washington state. And you can have this in your state as well. It's not going to be easy, though. There are going to be bumps in the road. There are going to be people who can't agree on what needs to come first or what needs to be best. But when people stop looking at what comes first and what comes best and start looking at the end vision 20 years from now, that thriving democracy, they can see that we can work in parallels on ideas that may not be agreed on by everybody, but still help us get to our vision. We can work in parallels instead of on top or in competition to one another. So we invite you to do the same in your state. We invite you to get in contact with the Democracy Hub to figure out how to make a path to democracy in your state, because we definitely need it. We can't think in pieces anymore. These ideas can't be left in their disparate communities. We can't think by legislative and election cycle. We need to rebuild our democracy. We need a new democracy.
Thank you. Yeah.